Come in. Oh, Stephen, take a seat. I wanted to talk to you about your subject. We're all rather concerned as to what it's going to be. I can't decide. Do you have any ideas? No. This is where J.J. Thompson discovered the electron and where Rutherford split the atom. You know, one of the great rewards of this job is one never knows from where the next great leap forward is going to come or from whom. Listen, next Friday I'm taking a few graduates of merit to London to attend a talk by the mathematician Roger Penrose. Do come along if you're interested. Oh, and close the door as you leave. three times the size of our sun ought to end its life how? With a collapse. The gravitational forces of the entire mass overcoming the electromagnetic forces of individual atoms and so collapsing inwards. If the star is massive enough, it will continue this collapse, creating a black hole where the warping of space-time is so great that nothing can escape, not even light. It gets smaller smaller. The star, in fact, gets denser as atoms, even subatomic particles, get literally crushed into smaller and smaller space. And at its end point, what are we left with? A space-time singularity. Space and time come to a stop. Thank you. 